If the vario roof of the SLK doesn't work properly, this can have different causes. In the program SLK Part 2, test of the hydraulic system of the vario roof, we went through the steps of the hydraulic pressure test. Before you reassemble the vehicle parts, check the oil level in the hydraulic unit. Check the current level. A cross serves as a mark for the correct oil filling level. In this case, there's not enough. Hydraulic oil must be added. You'll find the list of permitted oils in the VIST document on screen. First, turn the bleed screw one rotation. Afterwards, remove the hydraulic units from the assembly position. Move the hydraulic motor into a position where you can remove the filling screw. Make sure that no hydraulic oil leaks from the opening. Next, attach the filling syringe. And add hydraulic oil. In order to see if the oil level mark has been reached, place the hydraulic motor back in the assembly position. Now close the filling screw and screw the hydraulic motor back into the crossbeam again. Also remember to close the bleed screw. Now check the correct working of the vario roof with a complete roof process, meaning opening and closing. The oil level is correct. When you reinstall all components, follow the correct torque values. Tighten the bleed screw of the hydraulic unit with one newton meter of torque. The torque of both screws in the holder is eight newton meters. Now mount the crossbeam cover. Here the torque depends on the size of the screws. Tighten the small screws with six newton meters and the big ones with 20 newton meters. You'll find the torque values and installation and removal information in the document on screen. By the way, with a speed of less than 5 km per hour, the Varia roof opens and closes while driving.